today I'm going to be doing um, a follow up video on my um, Marie Kondo book review. Like I said, this was going to be a sort of series um, video, and today I'll be showing um, and telling you my progress on the clothes section. So, this is going to be one of two parts. The other part will be about my books, which will come after this. Um, and I will link my original book review somewhere on screen and down below. So overall, I found it... I don't know really, because I I feel like it worked. I got rid of a ton of clothes as you'll be able to see in the video. Um, I might put it on as I'm talking. Because the build up at the start and reading the book it makes you think yes I'm gonna get rid of like three quarters of my wardrobe I feel like I didn't get rid of as much as I wanted um, I don't know whether that's because I have clothes that generally like just genuinely spark joy with me um, and that's why I've kept them or whether I just wasn't being harsh enough on myself and I know at some stages I wasn't um, there was some times where I thought I haven't worn that in a while but sort of last year I was wearing it loads so I wanted to keep it and I found it hard with sort of summer clothes because crop tops, I have not been wearing those for months um, but at the time I used to, like in summer I wear them a lot so it was hard to think in that sense because you haven't been wearing them recently so you don't know how they and you don't remember how they look on you. One thing I just stuck with the whole time was does it spark joy? Um, and if it didn't, um, I just put it in a pile to get rid of. Um, one thing I probably did do was think if I was hesitant about it, I would keep it rather than what I should have done was probably get rid of it. Um, this jumper was one of them. Um, I was like, because I have not worn it in probably since I got it. Um, but I really quite like it and it's wearing it now it's really comfortable um, so for now I'm glad that I kept it but it was definitely a hesitant piece um, so yeah um, I feel like the book has a lot of rules and you she says you have to keep very strict to them otherwise it's not gonna work I don't know I think you can take the whole thing with a pinch of salt and take bits that you want from different areas if you know one thing's not going to work for you, don't do it. Especially the Comrie system of um, folding your clothes and putting them in drawers. Um, as you can see from the video, um, I've done that now. And for me it works quite well because it saves a ton of space. Um, I had two drawers and now I can fit every, all my t-shirts into one drawer. Um, so for that reason it's great. But at times it can get a bit annoying because it's easy to put everything in at once when you're doing it but after a while when you're like you've done your ironing and you want to put your stuff away if you want to put it back in the position like if you separated it into categories within the drawer it can be hard to sort of put a t-shirt back in um, especially vest tops I found that really hard like I'll peel I'll peel I'll pick one out and the whole load of vest tops will come out with it so it's definitely something that probably is not going to work for everyone but um, for me it's great for space saving. So I'm just going to read a little bit of what she says about the folding. Um, she says, the goal is to fold each piece of clothing into a simple smooth rectangle. First fold each lengthwise side of the garment towards the centre and tuck the sleeves in to make a rectangular shape. 
It doesn't matter how you fold the sleeves. Next, pick up one end of the rectangle and fold it towards the other, then fold again in halves or thirds. The number of folds should be adjusted so that the fold folded clothing, when standing on its edge, fits the height of the drawer. I don't, because my drawers are quite deep, but that doesn't really work for me, and it would all just fall over. So, fold it how you want. In general, I've kept to what she said, and it's all in rectangles. Um, but yeah, just have fun with it at the end of the day. There's no point getting stressed out about organising, because then that is just not fun. Actually, I'm recording this intro about two weeks later than I've done um, my um, organising and sorting out and doing the Comrie method, um, because I wanted to know in the long run, I mean, it's two weeks isn't a long run, but I wanted to see a couple weeks on if I was still using the system, if it was working, and the t-shirts I say is working, but like I said, the, the vest tops and putting stuff back in can be a little difficult. As far as clothes, I'm looking at my wardrobe right now, um, because it's open. I have categorised everything, so dresses are all on the left, and then it moves into like skirts and trousers, and then I've got um, t-shirts and light shirts on the right. Um, and that does work. Um, I try and put everything back in its section, um, but I've noticed I've got a ton more hangers now because I just got rid of a load of stuff that needed to be hung, so that was great. As hoodies and things like that, I got rid of quite a few, um, and I'm just sort of left the ones that I really wear, and I'm finding now I'm picking out, I, I don't know if it's because we're getting into some warmer weather now, but I'm picking back up items that I don't usually pick up um, and wear. Shoes was a big one. I got rid of, I think, three pairs of shoes. Um, I think it was a pair of trainers, a pair of heels. I can't remember what the last pair is, but you'd be able to see it in the video. Um, I had a hard time getting rid of shoes. I didn't want to get rid of my shoes because I feel like f me with shoes, I go through in phases. And there's certain shoes that I wear just for work, and then the rest of them I can wear whenever. But sort of some shoes I would wear for a period, um, and I would just wear them constantly. And then I like, what I'm trying to say is I go through phases of sh wearing shoes, so I'll go months wearing them, and then I'll go a year without wearing them. So it's just, it's what my style is currently, and I feel it's always changing. And because, like, I've got a load of DM boots, and they're quite pricey pieces of footwear, so I don't really want to get rid of them, and then in the future think, oh, I could have worn them with this outfit, that would have looked great. One thing that I did do, which was sneaky and I probably shouldn't have done, um, when I was looking at my piles of clothing, I put a few items that I thought, yeah, I'm going to get rid of. I put a few items back into my wardrobe, like a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and a jumper here and there. I just got them back out of the pile and thought, no, I do want to keep them. That's fine. There's no one. I'm not going to be shot over this. Like, um, it's my clothes. I do what I want with them. I got rid of a ton. I don't feel like I failed in any sense. Um, I would have liked to have got rid of more clothes. But for the amount that I got rid of, I was really, like, pleased with. And also there were some things that I haven't necessarily worn a lot before, but because now I'm working and we've got certain rules about what we can and can't wear, like, the main thing I'm talking about is, like, shorts. I have some longer shorts I have not worn yet, because naturally I go for shorter shorts rather than sort of knee length. I don't go butt short, but I go for short shorts. Um... But like for work, that's not going to be appropriate. So I was thinking ahead to summer and what I'm going to need to wear for work. Um, so I kept a few pieces then that if I wasn't working in um, where I am now, I probably would have just got rid of them. So for this little bit, I thought I would record a voiceover. Um, as you can see here, this is me sorting out my wardrobe, just um, starting off with jeans and shorts and just getting everything out um, just to see what I have. Um, for some reason I was on my phone there. Um, yeah, so I'm going through jogging bottoms, leggings, shorts, that sort of thing. Shorts, like I said, was hard because we're not in that seasonal weather at the moment. So, as you can see next, I started to move on to the main bulk of my wardrobe um, I just literally took everything out um, I've got dresses, sports tops trousers, skirts um, 
tops that need to be hung, just a ton, um, and it really needs a good sort out, so that is what I am going through here. Um, one thing I did do was I bought um, a lot of felt hangers for this process, um, which made it a lot easier just to make everything more streamlined, and I was actually able to hook um, multiple hangers onto one hanger, um, they sort of linked in that way, so I was able to use more of my vertical space. Um, as you can see, that is the pile there of things that I am going to get rid of, which was quite a good little achievement. So now I am just organising, um, putting everything back. I am doing the Comrie method in which you put longer items towards the left of the wardrobe. So I start off with my dresses, move on to trousers, and then towards the right is tops. So as you can see here, I'm just showing you the different sections that are within my wardrobe. So it starts off with dresses, moves um, from long to short dresses, and then onto trousers and skirts. And then I've got shirts, um, blouses, crop tops, um, and that sort of thing. As you can see, I then moved on to the bottom of my wardrobe, where I mostly keep my belts, um, any swimming costumes, um, I've got a few old sentimental tops which I keep down there, um, but really it was just more organising and I threw one bikini away, um, there wasn't really a lot down there to sort out. Um, yeah, so that was just a really easy process. Um, I then moved on to my scarves, which again was really easy because I just don't wear a lot of them. Um, so I just kept the ones that I do. Um, and as you can see, that is the pile there. I then moved on to jewellery, which again was super easy because I wear very little jewellery. Um, so I just untangled a lot of it because unfortunately it was all knotted up um, and took everything off this hanger organiser. Um, I kept a few bracelets and necklaces that I do wear or that was sentimental. Um, and as you can see, it was reduced by a lot. I then moved on to handbags and overnight bags, clutches, old rucksacks that I'd had from school. Um, this was a fairly hard process because I do have so many and I like to use them for different occasions and I always can find a need for one of them. So that was slightly hard. This has been kind of a rambly video. I'm going to do a blog post which I will link below of uh, my experience um, in general. I'm so I'll I'll also link the vlog I did where um, it was the day when I actually did all this organising and going through doing the Comrie method. Um, so I'll link that as well on the screen and down below so you can see that and that is like first initial thoughts um, as I'm doing it. And yeah, um, be sure to look out for the second part to this video which is all about my books. And yeah, until my next video, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.